The class isn't done yet. Still waiting on uh, potentially some other letters, and, and uh, you'll wrap it all up at your press conference today at 1.30 p.m., which will be streaming live here on SEC Network Plus, 1.30 Central, 2.30 Eastern. But uh, the bulk of the class in, and I know you got to be very excited about the future Tigers who join the family today. So excited about the group. And, you know, if, if you go across the country and you talk to any college coach, every, everybody's got to uh, – you better be excited today because you've got an opportunity for – uh, to, to enhance your team, to make sure that you've addressed needs that you think in uh, the roster spots that we needed. And there's guys that, that we think can come in and help us immediately. And then guys that, that we obviously look forward to developing over their, their career here. And you know, we talk to, to our kids all the time uh, and the families and the high school coaches about making the decision about the people that are in the buildings, make the people uh, that are here the, the decision making uh, process is always difficult when you're making a, a, a big decision and um, I'm excited about the group that we've got the things that that they bring to our program and university uh, will make Mizzou football better for a long time. One of the things I think fans notice as we went through this morning uh, thanks to the work of our wonderful graphics team with Scott Schmidt, Ali Fisher and Kevin Fletcher on those maps that we saw was the national scope uh, of, of the recruiting efforts uh, in this class and uh, how much does that help uh, getting out all across the country and getting the Mizzou name out there. Well, I think it's important to note that our recruiting department with A.J. Afadale and, and Austin Carter Samuels have uh, really last year on this day and even before that, they, they spearheaded what uh, is, is what we're announcing today. And it started and, and there's a lot of people behind the scenes that uh, did so much work, uh, as you mentioned, and then our recruiting department on the evaluation and the building of relationships for us as a coaching staff. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of my guys. I'm proud of the way that over the last uh, calendar year that, that they've worked together and what we feel like is, is a special class. What were some of the main goals of this recruiting class? Well, I think if you look at on both sides of the line of scrimmage, we wanted to make sure offensively uh, on the offensive line that, that we were able to recruit bigger guys physically. Uh, we hit the needs there that we thought that, that guys can come in and win in this league. It's a line of scrimmage league. We, we understand that. And uh, I'm, I'm very, very confident of the group that we signed on uh, in that position that, that they're going to help us do that. You look on the defensive side uh, in, in the skill set that we signed really at every spot uh, are guys that, you know, through either graduation or leaving for the draft, uh, that, that we needed, you know, on the on the edge rusher with uh, a couple guys that we feel like can come in and help us pretty quick. And then two linebackers that are extremely athletic that, you know, it's our job as teachers and coaches uh, now from this point to teach those guys and get them in position to help us right away. And then in the secondary, you know, we've got a couple guys coming back in uh, in that area that, that have experience, but also we feel uh, pretty strongly about the freshman class coming in to go in and compete and help us right away. Couldn't help but notice the size across both lines of scrimmage, whether it be the offensive line or the defensive line. How important was that to get these guys, particularly on the O-line? I mean, you, you're getting 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, uh, well over 300 pounds, and, and similar numbers on the, on the defensive side. How important was size in the trenches? Well, if you look at, at the, the line of scrimmage in the Southeastern Conference, I mean, it's, it's a big person league. And, and obviously, uh, you know, this, this because you're big, it's not, that's not the answer. But... We feel like the athletic uh, ability of those guys, along with their size walking in the door, you know, with, with the development of Rourke Cutchlow and the strength and conditioning department, uh, those guys will be uh, in position physically to be ready to go in, in August. Numbers-wise, do you feel good about uh, the numbers that you were able to, to bring in uh, across the board, all positions? Yeah, you always you want to be creative enough uh, to make and, and control your roster and the roster management piece of, of fitting in as many as you can, uh, but you got to get them at the right spots. And, uh, you know, the wide receiver position, the, the two that we've talked about, I, I think we upgraded in that spot over the last, you know, really 48 to uh, 72 hours, and I'm excited about uh, those guys on, on where they'll come in, uh, their athletic ability and, and ball skills. Uh, so you address the needs and you find uh, what fits your fits your program and then guys that really want to be here and then what they can do on the field. Uh, what is their skill set and does it fit what we're doing offensively and defensively and, and uh, really excited about that group. Finally, uh, we mentioned this a few times here today, but the cohesiveness of this class and, and you know what Show Me 17 means to the 20 plus kids who have, have signed today um, to, to, to join this program. 
what does that mean to them and, and what can you say about the way this, this uh, group of kids, whether it be through group texts or, or on social media, have, have really bonded together before most of them have even arrived on campus? Well, if you look at any strong family, any strong organization or company or team, uh, it, you've got to care for each other. And this group uh, has been a loyal group to each other. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys down the stretch um, that, you know, they all had other options. This, the group that uh, the players that we got today are, are excited to be here. They're excited to be part of our family. Uh, they care about each other. They care about making Mizzou great and doing everything that they can to go win a championship. Guys that love to play football and they want to do it for the University of Missouri. It's exciting, isn't it? That's a great combination.